Hello and welcome to the show. Later, Katie Skilton will be joining us to show us a really clever gift box idea using the newest addition to the Papermania capsule collection. Uh, that's the festive design of the spots and stripes that we loved so much in the Brights and Pastel. But first of all, I'm going to show you a project I've made for the July Creativity magazine using the fat quarters from the very same collection. Now, as you can see, the fabrics aren't particularly Christmassy, so you can use them for every day as well. And I've made this very handy hanger that you could have perhaps hanging by your door or in your wardrobe and you can just pop all your little bits and pieces in and all the steps and step by steps for this project you'll find in the July issue of Creativity magazine. Hi Katie, thanks for joining us today. Hello. Uh, so what are you going to make for us? So today I'm going to be making a gift basket that you can use to put your Christmas gifts in. You can even use it as a hamper to put your little treats Brilliant. in at Christmas. Brilliant, all those festive bits and pieces. Brilliant, and it looks like it could easily be used for every day as well. Yeah, it's not brilliant. only Christmas, Easter would be a good time to put your Easter eggs oh, in as well. perfect. Okay, right, let's get started. What do we need first? Okay, so first of all, we just need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. What we need to do is we need to score it every four inches. Brilliant. So that you end up with all your even squares. Let's pop that trim out of the way. So you literally are just going to score evenly your four inches. So it's basically into, into thirds Into there. thirds. So what Fantastic. you need to do now is you need to take your scissors and you just need to cut on the centre square just on each side. Okay. Okay, lovely. Once you've done that, you just want to fold where your score lines are. So you're folding all the sides in there. Just make sure you've got a nice fold. Obviously, it makes it sit tidy. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our spots. Now, this is the capsule collection, the festive, the festive one. design, and these are fantastic, aren't they? So you've got all your lovely Christmassy reds and greens. Yep. Also, those sort of icy blues and greys as well. I'm, I think this is my favourite of all the collections yeah, we've had recently. Really so I'm going to do, I'm just going to line it up because I want to leave a slight border so we can actually see the green. So I'm literally oh, that's just good, so just doing it by mark. eye, that's always good. Yeah. And we're just going to cut the squares. So then you literally just cover your, with your squares. And what you'll do is you'll carry on doing this yeah. for every single square. So what I've done, I've got this one here. This one you made earlier. This one I made earlier. <laughs> now, I've also rounded the corner, so I've literally, you know, just taken my corner punch. Oh, I literally see. Literally punched all the corners that are going to be on show. And then just rounded the corners of the paper before yep. you popped it on there. To go with it. Brilliant. Okay. So you've got your flat piece of card. All you're going to do now is you need to start to turn it into your basket. Okay. So what we need is to just, first of all, make sure you've got it even. And then... So you can see we've just, uh, they're sort of sticking up almost at sort of yeah, 45 degrees to them. So then I'm just going to put a little pencil mark there. Perfect. We'll just peel that off. We'll do one side at a time. So literally just going to find the line. Oh yes, we can just see it, just see it there. And do the same with the other side. It's ever such a simple thing to make really. I guess it's that's really handy if you're folds. making lots of them yep. as well. You want it to be quite yeah, quick and simple, right. don't you? Perfect. Yep. So you've got that. Okay, so then we're just going to do the same with the other side. So just really by eye, just make sure you've kind of got them. And it's really taken shape already, so that isn't they're it? they're in the same place. So just repeat what you've done on the other side. There's a line there. So I'm going to take my spotty paper now and Lovely. I'm just going to cut a little bit to decorate the handle. So we probably want this, I think, about three centimetres. Lovely. We're just going to trim that. And then we take some more green cardstock, and that's six centimetres okay. thick. And we're going to use the leafy lace die to literally cut a border along both sides to give it some shape. Perfect. Okay. So what you These are brilliant, aren't they? They're, They're really easy fantastic. to line up, aren't They're they, as so well? They're so easy. I'm going to make my first punch, and then I'm literally going to line it up with the pattern that's on the punch. Perfect. And push down. And then you always get your even pattern. And then we're going to take our spotty paper again. So while you're popping your tape on there, we actually had a question in from uh, one of our viewers, and that's from Sarah from Hull. Thank you for your question. And she asks, uh, do you have any top tips for using lots of different patterns together? This is the perfect range probably yes. to talk about it, because in the, in the spots and stripes you've got all sorts of... Surprisingly, spots and stripes and big dots and little dots and all sorts. I think you can mix and match them all together, but I think the key is to keep it, use different colours, so you haven't got spots and stripes all in the same colour. Yeah. 
Um, and also, uh, maybe go with a bold pattern and then some tiny spots so that it's not Mix all overbearing. Up. Definitely, rather than using sort of two or three of the same size. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah right. absolutely. Another trick I use is often to ink the edges. So if you're going to lay patterns on top of one another, they can sometimes look a little bit muddy, yep. can't they? So if you ink the edges as well with a, like a dye ink pad, that'll really define the edges and help, help, it, help break it up a little bit. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to make some holes in my box so that we can attach the handle to the basket. Now I'm just going to use the pokey tool because we're going to put a brad through this in a minute. But it's got to go through three or four layers so of card nice, here. Give it a wiggle. And we're going to take our brad, pop it through. Okay, and Fantastic. then you put your basket. Look at that, that's brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is just going to add a little decoration to it. Okay. So I've die cut a circle and a scallop circle. Okay. So I'm just going to join those two together. Okay. So I'm just going to pop that in the centre of your scalloped it's circle. It's just going to make our little focal point, isn't it, here? I'm going to take some of the big bloomers, which also, again, oh, they're fantastic. coordinate with all the papers. What I like most about these is, again, you get a really good mix, don't you? you? Do. From the very small little dots to quite the really bold thick. dots and, and if the you stripes mix them together, you know, they all complement each other so well. That's right. As you were saying, you've combined two quite different patterns yeah. and different colours, like you were yeah, saying you about the patterns. Yeah, you don't have to stick so. to the same, you know, same patterns together. Beautiful. Mm. Glue them to the desk. Glue them to the desk. All right, we're good. There we go. <laughs> then let's glue that to the circle. Okay, so while that's drying, just literally let's get some twine. Add a tiny bit of the glue gun at the back. I'm going to pop that oh, onto the centre of the great. button. Sticking myself to the <laughs> twine. So I'll just trim that. That looks fantastic. And then I've taken a little sentiment, and that is from the Lucy Cromwell yes. Christmas range. Showing that they work, again, really wonderfully together. together, don't they? We literally go in to we'll pop a little bit of glue on the back of that one. There. Perfect. We'll just pop a little bit of glue on the back of that one. I oh, will stick him behind the flower. Tuck him in there. I mean, you could even use a little tag. You know, just put someone's name on if you want. Definitely. To. That would be perfect. And then there you have. That's fantastic. Brilliant. If you've enjoyed today's show and want to get crafting something a little bit similar, maybe a gift box or using one of the capsule collections, we'd love to see what you're making. Uh, so drop us an email to tv at docrafts.com and we could even feature your project on an upcoming episode. Until next time, happy crafting. <laughs> <laughs>